Welcome to ARW. I'm Harold and uh, today we're going to make a crucible for uh, pouring aluminum and uh, uh, Zamac, things like that. Not for really big time stuff. Alright, so I'm going to make one that will fit in the hot shot oven. And what I've got to do it with is this piece of stainless steel pipe. This ought to make really maybe two or three of them but you know you got to order it in some kind of quantity so let's let's stick this thing over and, and see what kind of a condition we've got all right let's see if the end is square now this is this is the crucible i've got i hate it because it's so heavy that you really can't pick it up with the with the tongs that they sold to go with it they're just not strong enough and it doesn't hold much anyway all right, let's take a look at this guy here. There's nearly a quarter of an inch gap right here at the top. So we know that end's not straight. Let's take a look at this other end. Let's see here. That's a lot better. There's, uh, there's no gap there. So that means this end was, was cut with a better saw than the other end. So I'll cut somewhere down here to make my crucible because I think four inches tall is about right. This is four inch diameter stainless steel. Schedule uh, 10 welded. All right. All right, let's look at the situation. This guy is six inches wide and six inches tall. And of course the depth doesn't matter in this case, but it's... Uh, 10 inches deep so I can take that crucible 4 inch diameter have an inch left over on each side make it say 4.5 inches tall and I can hold a pretty good bit of metal so why don't we just do it like that now this is a wonderful saw has anybody ever used one will admit it's only got uh, a couple of faults. Mainly, it's noisy as the devil and it throws chips everywhere. Other than that, it makes a lot of fast, smooth cuts. And I could, I'm, and as much as I want to make a fast, smooth cut, I'm going to use this guy. Okay? And I'm going to put my glasses on and protect my eyes from all those chips. Let's get on with it. Cut right through. I've got about three inches of, of metal left to cut off. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to line it up just like this. I must be living right because I went over there by the plasma table and there's a, a round piece of metal I cut out with it, who knows when, but it fits. It fits this circle. So it's just the tiniest bit off of it and that won't actually matter. I'll fill that up with metal and we'll be just as happy as we can be. Isn't that good? Talk about luck. Okay, I got it all set up to 
weld the bottom on. I'm just going to tack it first and then I'll come back around and weld it. And I'm not going to show any of the welding because personally I don't watch welding. If you've got a welding in your video, I skip over that part. There's not much to see when somebody's welding, you know? So you guys get to take another bit of a nap and I'll do this bottom on this thing and then we'll find us a handle for it. Alright, so now I've globbed it on the bottom. I'm going to stick this handle on there and then we'll take it over to the lathe, I think, and try to cut all this stuff to look smooth. I think that's my plan for now. I'm just going to try to cut off the high spots slowly. Take off about five thousandths at a time. Well, trying to turn this off in the lathe didn't work too good. The uh, the belts are slipping on my lathe. I'm gonna have to get real belts instead of those link belts. So I took it over to the to the belt grinder, and I sort of ground it off. And it looks to me like there's bound to be a leak maybe here and a couple other places. So I know I tell you I hate welding. But I guess I'm going to have to go there and sort of touch up a couple of the little spots and grind them down again. Uh, you know, that was yesterday and today's a new day. Uh, in the middle of all this, we had the brand new welding machine. I got it about a, oh, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. And uh, it's not sponsored or anything, so I'm going to do like Quinn Dunkey. And I'm not going to mention the name, but... My nephew used the new machine to do arc welding on the, on the bottom of this guy. And uh, so the machine works, I know that, at least the arc welding part. I wasn't smart enough to figure out where to hook all the wires because he's got all kind of connections on the front. But I had to call Chuck and he tried to help me but I was too dumb. But while I was talking to Chuck, my nephew figured out how to get it going. So there you go. Okay, I welded this thing six times and it's leaked every time I welded it, putting the bottom on. So the boss lady says, Well, what about your nephew? He used to be a welding instructor to junior college. And I thought, Yeah, how about that? So I called him and he came over here and not only did he lay a real pretty bead around it, it don't leak anymore. I told him, well, would you like to be on YouTube and get credit for your work? No, no, I don't want it. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to try to make a little pour spout here. That's what I've got this chisel for. I just want enough of a dent to make the metal want to follow the, the line. It doesn't seem to have much effect. <laughs> Maybe I need to hit it just a tiny bit harder. I don't know. That's certainly not doing much. It left a little groove. I'm not going to get carried away with that because well, I'm not, you know, I'll be out here all day, maybe with a torch heating it and bending it, and, and I don't want to do that. It's warming up. It's 90-something degrees outside. A lot better than that in here, but it's, it's 90 outside or above. So let's, let me hit it again, see if, see if I can do any good. didn't do any good so I'm going to stop right there and say that thing's finished and uh, 
this was just a short sweet video it's all over and there wasn't much to it but uh, there you are we'll go see what Bubba was doing even if it was a short video there was a couple of highway patrol out there running around on the road they'd been out there all day long driving up and down the highway and one of them looks at she say he says you know he says our shift will be over another hour about and we hadn't wrote a ticket one today so they had one driver says i'll tell you what we'll we'll stop the very next car that comes by so here come this old pickup truck you know down the road and they stopped turned around followed it pickup truck staying in this lane giving all the right signals staying under the speed limit not doing a thing wrong they followed him and followed him and Finally, one of the officers tells him, he says, you know, I never seen a, an Alabama boy drive that good and that safe. He says, uh, we can't give him a ticket, but he says, I think I'm just going to pull him over and congratulate him on being such a safe driver. So they pulled him over, you know, and the officer walks up there and says, how you doing, sir? And Bubba says, I'm doing all right, you know, and, and uh, the officer says, well, he says, uh, you're not going to get a ticket or nothing. He says, I, I just noticed how, how really good you're driving here. And he said, I, I thought I'd congratulate you on being so safe and all. And Bubba said, well, he says, when you're drunk as I am, you've got to drive safe. 